Hi everybody, Mr. Dell here. I'm gonna get into graphing uh, these lines, graphing based on these rules um, without using a table and thinking about the information that I'm given within the rule itself and then getting the graph complete that, that way. So I've got my axes already created a couple sets of axes. So I'll put A and B on one and B and C on the other is what my plan is. So A and B and then C and D. So A and B is going to go here and then C and D will go here. So, but before I begin, I want to make sure we review the rule and its components. So Y equals MX plus B, right? What do we know? We know that M is that growth rate it's the rate of change what m represents it's that growth rate or you can also say the rate of change right that's what that m represents b b represents the initial value okay or we also refer to it as the y intercept right so it's that initial value or the y-intercept. That's what that B is. The y and the x are the, the actual uh, pieces that stay within that equation because that's what we're comparing is that y to x. And we're coming up with all the solutions that make it work. So let's talk A. So A right now is y is equal to 2x minus 3, right? y is equal to 2x minus 3. So of this y equals 2x minus 3, I have my rate of change is 2. My initial value is now in this case that minus 3 is considered a negative 3, right? Because look, we have a plus b. So I would, I would rewrite this to be y is equal to 2x plus negative 3. So that way now I have the plus, which is in the rule, the standard rule, I notice that that number is a, a negative three. So I'm gonna start on my on my equation, on my graph at negative three. So go down, this is the X, this is the Y axis, the X axis, the Y axis. So on the Y axis, cause that's the Y intercept, it's the initial value, the Y intercept is negative three. So I start down here at negative three and then I use my rate of change or my growth rate to find the next point. So the growth rate right now, that two, so that means it's really what we have is the growth rate is two over one. So that that two is the same thing as two over one. So that's why we're gonna grow two over one. And there's my next point. So I'm gonna grow up two and over one. So two over one. So I'm getting my line by building the that growth rate. And I can always go the other direction, right? opposite of two up over over one i could go down two over the other direction one so that also allows me to then have points um going past the y axis so I'll, i got my points i'm going to go ahead and draw my line through those points and i saw the line to show all the values that make that equation true arrows on the line and then the last thing is to always label your line. So this is y is equal to 2x minus 3. So I'm labeling the line and I have it graphed. So that's A. So now let's look at B. So B, move this back down. B says y is equal to negative 2x plus 5. Well, in this case, again, so y, I'll rewrite it so we can see it better. y equals negative 2x plus 5. The 5 is that y intercept, 0, 5. That's the y intercept. And this negative two is the rate of change. And we would say negative two over one is that rate of change. So I'm gonna do that one in on the same set of axes. So this set of axes, I first start off at positive five. One, two, three, four, five. So there's my y-intercept is at zero, five. And then my rate of change, it, it's a negative. So it's notice this was a positive rate of change. So that went uphill. So this is a negative rate of change. So I'm going to go down. It's going to be decreasing, decreasing. So I'm going down two over one, down two over one. 
And then if I wanted to have points the other direction, I just go opposite of what I did. In this case, it would be up to the other directional one. And then connect my dots. Arrows on my line. And then label with its rule. Y is equal to negative 2x plus 5. Okay. So there's A and B. So let's look at C and D. So I know I've got writing all over this. So let's make sure we can see where C is. C says Y is equal to... 3x. So y is equal to 3x. Notice it usually is a y is equal to something x plus something, right? But I don't have the I don't have the b. So really what that means is that's a plus zero is another way to write it. So this is y is equal to y is equal to 3x plus zero. That's what that means. So that means that the y intercept is at zero. So I'm going to do it on this graph. So I'm going to start at zero, which is right here at zero, zero. And my rate of change, my growth is three over one. So I'm going to go up three over one, up three over one. And then to get some points down this direction, go opposite, down three over one, down three over one. So there you can see my points are in a line with my rate of change of three over one. There it is. And I write my rule, y is equal to 3x. I just realized in the directions, I forgot about this. I need to do that. Draw a growth triangle for each line. So let me finish this one and I'll go back on these. The growth triangle is this. It just wants you to point out where, what is that slope? So I just draw a triangle from one point to the next and I label it 3 over 1. Right? So I can do that anywhere on the line. So I can have this be and show that that is 3 over 1. So those are, that's, those are called growth triangles. So over here on these, got a couple I could do from here to here to show this is 2 over 1. The blue line has a growth triangle of 2 over 1. And then the purple, purple line here has a growth of what? That would be negative 2 over 1, right? So it's, so it's going down 2 and over 1. So, which would be negative two over one. So that's how you would label your triangles, your growth triangles on the line. Okay. Okay. Last line. Y is equal to negative one half plus one. So I'm going to write that on my graph. So Y is equal to, let's do it in blue, this one in blue. Y is equal to uh, one half X plus one. So one half x so what is that saying so that one half is my growth and one is my initial value my y-intercept so let's start with the one which is right here now one half so it's not going completely up one it's only going a half so you can look at it as a couple ways so i can look at it as i'm going to go up a half and over one up a half and over one up a half and over one, up a half and over one. I can look at it that way, okay? Or I can look at, if you notice, it's up one over two, up one over two. Do you see that? Up one over two. So the growth triangle is one over two like this. So you could either look at it as up a half over one um, and end up that way, or the growth is one over two, okay? So then we draw that that line. And I got my label there. I'll put it closer to the line. Y equals one half X plus one. All right. I hope that helps.